Number one, Joe Allen Hansen. If it wasn't for the orange jumpsuit, you might assume he'd just won the lottery instead of ending up in the clink for multiple DUIs. Or perhaps he's just thinking, thank you, Lord, for another chance at this DUI thing. I don't think I did it right the first few times, and I'm just happy to have another go at it. Either way, he's not letting his current incarceration bring him down. Good for you, Joe. Stay positive. Number two, Gail Ann Brown. After finding herself in the clink for possession of drug paraphernalia and failure to appear, it's hard to tell exactly what's going through Gail's mind when this mugshot was taken. There are several possibilities, however. Perhaps she partook in some really good hallucinogenics before her incarceration, or she's consulting with the voices inside her head. Either way, I wish her all the best in getting things sorted out and back on her way to a bigger, brighter future. Number three, Jesse Lee Faircloth. Charged with residential burglary, this mugshot appears to have captured that perfect aha moment. Perhaps he just got the punchline to a joke he had heard earlier, or he finally figured out which crime was responsible for his current incarceration. Either way, he appears to have a good understanding of the situation now. Hopefully, some of this clarity will carry over to his future life choices. Number four, Aurora Elizabeth Quinn. Charged with criminal possession with the intent to distribute, Aurora seems to be under the mistaken belief that if she can't see the camera, the camera can't see her. Unfortunately, that's not the case, and her attempts to blend into the background are in vain. Hopefully, Aurora's future will be filled with spotlight moments she wouldn't mind flashing a smile for the camera. Number five, Matthew Paul Sweet, currently on a hold at the Missoula Assessment and Sanction Center for unknown reasons. It's hard to look at this mugshot without widening my eyes to match Matthew's gaze. Perhaps he's a skilled hypnotist trying to get us to do his bidding. In that case, it might be best to look away and move on to the next mugshot. Number six, Aaron Dean Starr. Currently in the clink for a probation violation, this side view mugshot could have many possible interpretations. So here are a few that come to mind. Maybe he was smuggling drugs tucked away in some not so nice places and it decided to make an early appearance during booking, forcing him to clench his butt cheeks together. Or perhaps he was simply trying hard not to pass gas. I'm sure we'll never know the true meaning behind his expression. However, I would like to thank Aaron for engaging my imagination with his one-of-a-kind mugshot. Number 7. Sullivan Nicholas Clark Gardner Topping off his already lengthy rap sheet with another probation violation and a possession of drug paraphernalia charge, Sullivan seems to have a knack for making questionable life choices, adding dark colored tattoos from chest to chin to highlight his slightly elongated neck just seems to be one of many. You know what they say, bad attention's better than no attention. Number 8. Donald Paul Hardigan, currently on a federal hold for unknown reasons, doesn't seem to be phased by his incarceration. In fact, one of his personalities really seems to be enjoying it. Embrace the madness, Donald. You've got this. Number 9. Luis Alberto Garcia, currently on a federal hold after being busted with a bunch of meth, cash, and a loaded handgun, Luis seems to have self-branding down to a T. With his long rap sheet and full-length coverage, he has this persona locked up tight creepy clowns around his neck, the bags and under his eyes, and the bars and dots on his forehead really help to drive it home. However, it's the tattoos in the ear that give it that over-the-top, above-and-beyond touch. Way to go, Lewis. Way to go. Number 10. Sundance Ron Lone Hernandez. Starting with theft convictions in 2006 and 7, an escape conviction in 2011 to current charges of strangulation, assault, and unlawful restraint, Sundance has chose to take some pretty bad life paths. His pick and skin art does not seem to be an exception to this pattern. It's hard to decide on a direction here. Is he going for the nightmare before Christmas vibe? Or could it be that he's not a snitch? His lips are sealed. Or is it the opposite? He is a snitch and these tattoos were punishment for his loose lips. I'm confused. Think you know what it stands for? Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked my video, please show your support by hitting the subscribe and like button. I'm just starting this channel and would love your help getting it going.
Thanks for watching.